promised because we are continuing to monitor the space launch that we're expecting. This is China's Zhikuan Space Launch Center and it is described as being set deep in the Gobi Desert. Well, in the next uh, three or so minutes, we're expecting that rocket that we're seeing to take up these three Chinese astronauts. They will go up to the Tiangong Space Station. This is China's Tiangong Space Station. And the, when it comes to Chinese astronauts, they are in fact called Taiko Nauts. Uh, something sort of similar to what we used to have with the Soviet space race when uh, they weren't called astronauts, the USSR would call them cosmonauts. So China calling astronauts Tycho Nauts. Three of them due to go up there to replace the three astronauts who are currently on the Chinese space station. And then these three, like them, those before, they will stay up there for roughly six months. So they're expecting to blast off in about two minutes time. The three astronauts, they are Cheng Dong, Chen Zhuangri and Wang Zhe. And the station's current three-person crew, who these guys will be replacing, they have been up there since October last year. They then will rotate with the three astronauts heading there today and they'll return to the Dongfeng landing site and we'll expect that return on the 29th of April. Now, so we're about a minute away from blast off. So while they are up there, the astronauts or Tycho Nauts, as the Chinese describe them, they will be conducting various experiments. They're going to install also a space debris protection device. Uh, while also performing recovery tasks. Uh, it's well known that there are various different articles, particles up in space that uh, often cause damage to satellites as they hurtle through the uh, space at very quick speeds. So these three astronauts will be amongst the different various tasks that they have. They'll be installing a space debris protection device. And also I can tell you that they are going to bring with them zebrafish, uh, a type, also planarians, a type of worm and a type of bacteria as well. All part of research objects to carry out three life science experiments at the space station. So they'll be taking live forms, a type of worm, a zebrafish and also a type of bacteria and they'll be carrying out life science experiments while up there. Lots of well-wishers there to see them off as they head off imminently. We're expecting it imminently blast off. I wonder if we can hear any sound. It's always great to hear a countdown. So let's just listen in, shall we? lift off as China sends a new team of astronauts to its space station as it continues in its march towards its ambition of becoming a space power to rival the dominance of the United States. Beijing pumping in billions of dollars into its space program in recent years in an effort to what President Xi Jinping describes as the Chinese people's space dream. They have these bold plans to send a crewed mission to the moon by the end of the decade 
and eventually to build a base on the lunar surface. So we're, here we have the three Chinese astronauts known as Taikonauts, as they're called in by China, on their way up to China's Tiangong Space Station. And these three will be replacing the three crew who are currently at the Chinese space station. And they'll be up there roughly like the crew. They're already for around three months, performing various different activities, experiments, and installing a space debris protection device. On board with them, a planarian, a type of worm, also a streptomyces, a type of bacteria, and a zebrafish. Joining the three-man crew as they make their way up to the Chinese space station. Leading this mission, Chen Dong, he's a former fighter pilot and he's a veteran space explorer. Back in 2022, he became the first Chinese astronaut to clock up more than 200 cumulative days in orbit. So a lot of experience. With him, two other crew members, also a former Air Force pilot, Chen Zhengri, and a former space technology engineer, Wang Zhe. For them, this is their first space flight. And as we saw, hundreds of well-wishers there at the site of liftoff, wishing these three a lot of luck. There was singing and flowers, national flags being waved in the streets of the space base just hours before this liftoff. So amongst the tasks that this crew will have, spacewalks, also replenishing supplies, and also carrying out general maintenance on the space station. So they're gonna be busy during the six months that they are up there replacing the crew who have already spent six months aboard Tiangong, the Chinese space station. And the three up there, they're scheduled to return to Earth on April the 29th after completing handover procedures. So they make their way up with those aquatic flatworms on board as well. Having been wished a lot of success after what President Xi Jinping describes as the Chinese people's space dream, all part of China's ambition to become a space power, that rivalry with the United States still going strong. So we've been watching that liftoff from the Chinese Taikonauts take place live from the Gobi Desert. <laughs>